Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your eh, host. You know, your sort of incredible host. All right, let's get on to things. If you follow my videos this week, you know I am doing um, our different routine. Uh, I'm doing one movement, one movement per body part. Monday, legs. All I did was my compact hack sled. Tuesday, chest. All I did was flat bench on the Smith machine. Wednesday, arms, bicep triceps. All I did was, for the bicep, concentration curl. And for the triceps, I did lying down dumbbell, uh, one dumbbell uh, skull crusher, like so. And Thursday, for shoulder day, the one exercise I did for shoulders was sitting dumbbell presses. And today, I have a long list of things that I could do for the back with my high and low cable pulleys and, uh, uh, you know, free weight bars and dumbbells and different things you can do with those and the Smith machine and all that. I had a tough decision. And uh, I think my decision is going to be doing the Smith machine bent rows. I like those pretty well. I've done them before and uh, they feel really good and uh, I'm going to enjoy doing those. Now what I'm trying to do is do this routine for about six weeks. So I was trying to pick exercises that I want to make sure I want to do for about six weeks. Now the reasoning behind this uh, workout is, let me hurry up and get to it because I've gotten to it four other times this week. Uh, Doing one movement instead of four or five different movements per body part, okay? If you do one movement, you know what that one movement is hitting exactly, okay? So if I'm gonna do Smith Machine Bent Rows, by the time I'm done with this six week program I'm putting myself on, I'm gonna be able to tell what that, what that one movement, what that machine, what that choice is hitting. Uh, if I was doing multiple things from my back, then I'm getting multiple this and multiple that, and I don't know what this is doing and that doing. Is this one even worth doing, or is this one even better than this one? So it's good, in my humble opinion, my unscientific opinion, take one movement and really go uh, hard with it. Giggity. So that's my thinking behind it. It's really dissecting every movement and figuring out really where it hits, how it hits, what it hits, and what's best. So anyway, we're not gonna film this whole workout. As you've watched my other videos, you know, uh, I only shoot like one or two clips of what I'm doing and uh, we go on with our day. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get this ready to go. Uh, I'm starting out with 35 pound plates on each side. So that's 70 pounds. I don't count the bar. I don't count the carriage the friction and all that stuff i have no way to measure you know to weigh what it uh what it weighs and so i just count the weights that i put on the bar so i got 35s on each side so we're gonna get started with that and we're gonna get this friday workout over with so i can go eat all right stick with me let's do this guys all right guys so again i'm only gonna show probably two little clips of the movement I'll get you in on my first set here because it's lightweight and then I'll get you in on my heaviest set just to show you the difference in maybe form and technique. And remember, we're all different. We all have a different range of motion. We all have different body issues and stuff. So not everybody's gonna do the things uh, the same and everyone also has a different way of thinking of doing things. So, you know, let's try to keep that in mind whenever we're watching these things, okay? Don't be so judgmental and uh, you do what you do and everybody else does what they do and we're all good to go, okay? So let me tilt the camera down a little bit and we'll do a little bit of uh, some bent rows.
guys, as I promised, I give you a video of my start weight and now I'm gonna max out at 250 pounds on the bar. Again, I don't know what the bar weighs. I don't know what the little carriage system weighs and the friction and all that gravity, if you will. I don't know what all that stuff weighs. So going for the weights on the bar, it's 250. This is going to be a last set, kind of a max set, and I'm hoping to get one decent rep, maybe two, that would be nice. So, yeah, drink a drink of water and uh, let's get that. All right, guys, till the camera is smidgen. 245s on here you can't really see but got 245s a 10 and then a 25 so if I did my math correctly it's 250 and I'm gonna stand on this side so Like I mentioned earlier, form wasn't going to be fantastic on such a high uh, weight and plus it's on the track and you got to kind of follow that track. You can't really use a lot of body English or anything. So, and that's what I wanted. That's why I chose the Smith machine over doing free weights this time is because I wanted the stability and the strictness of the Smith machine. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now. That's not my last set. Now I gotta go down and do five more sets working my way down. And they're gonna be uh, progressively getting lighter, of course. So that's it, guys. You know my reasoning for this. You've seen the videos, follow them. Uh, try it yourself, leave some comments. Let me know what's up, if you've tried it, if you're gonna try it. And uh, yeah, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down I'm Michael, Mikeyson, Old Mental Pickle, Michael, Mike, Mr. Green Jeans, Mr. Blue Jeans, etc. So many names. Multiple personalities. I'm even the body beat down. Anyway, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Be an inspiration to someone today, tomorrow, the next week, including yourself. Now I gotta finish this up, guys. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it! <laughs>